for joining me today. So I am going to be speaking to you about another Leeds Gorilla um, feature which is called the Leeds Gorilla Audit Reports but specifically um, for Facebook leads that you have retrieved, right? So for those of you that might have missed the previous video that I've shown where um, I've gone into how to generate a Google uh, My Business or Google Business Profile report. You can go ahead and check that out. I'm going to be leaving some links to those videos in the description below. And I'm also going to be leaving a link to the actual Leads Gorilla platform in order for you to get signed up. And if you do use um, my sign up link, you will get a discount as well as a lot of bonuses and resources and also what's nice is that you'll actually get the full version of it and it won't be the the limited version um, or the standard one right so without any further ado let's get into the video and let's get started right so once you sign in this is what it's going to look like it's going to be the lead through the dashboard on your left hand side you're going to see there's going to be um, the reports so you'll basically click on the report section over there over here you can just go to Facebook um, reports click on it now be in mind that the Facebook reports can only be generated for um, leads that you've gathered from um, Facebook itself first and foremost and then also this client needs to have an active page and they also need to have a website as well in order for for the system to, to be to be able to generate um, the necessary data or um, do the necessary audit so I'm gonna go ahead and search for one of the um, leads so let's see I'm actually gonna go ahead and check for accountants now what's also nice about it is that because Leeds Gorilla is so versatile and it come it gives you a lot of flexibility you can actually search for leads across the world um, I've actually I've actually searched for leads in Cape Town South Africa and these are some of the the leads that I found so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to generate uh, a report using um, this particular clients profile over here so it's accountants Cape Town so I'm going to say generate right and over here there's a variety of things that you can um, specifically tick or like you can tick one of these boxes if you want to only have the report generated with that information but what I usually do is I would check all in order to get all the information in order to show the customer overall what we found online with the with the profile and also what it is that they're lacking what they need to work on and also how we can assist them so i'd go ahead and check all this is something i suggest that you do as well go check all then i'd go generate report Giving it a second to load. Now, usually it takes just under sixty seconds for the for the report to be generated. So don't close or reload the page. Just have some patience, and you'll soon see that it um, actually gives you. The information that you're looking for okay What I also suggest is that when you are busy with the 
weather reports and overall like the system try to avoid opening up a lot of tabs because as you know just like with any other platform or, or system it actually slows down the processing on your computer um, also your network and that in turn um, delays some of the you know functionalities of, of some of the things that you're doing and this goes across the board for any platform that you're using but that is just um, you know some advice from my end so as you can see the report has been generated you'll see that your name um, will be displayed on top and what's cool is that you can actually edit it and you can have whatever name displayed there you can have your website displayed there you can have um, your email displayed as well as a contact number so if a customer likes what they see and they're interested in working with you they can actually just reach out to you because they would have your information over here it shows the Facebook report um, for the particular business it gives you the Facebook page right and as you scroll further down there's a little snippet of the actual Facebook page right so this is the Facebook report we're going to scroll down so it's going to show you that the front page has been updated and um, the about us has been updated the profile picture and cover picture has been provided the the about us has been provided the username is the call to action call to action is usually when the business provides um, like an email or a telephone number in order for people to get to, to get access to them or reach out to them right so further down as you can see there that is what I was referring to so there is a contact number along with the website as well so all of the information is actually showing there now on this report you'd also be able to see the customer's website and you'll you'll be able to see whether it is mobile friendly because a lot of people are accessing websites and stuff <coughs> sorry via the via the um, mobile phone so this would be an awesome thing if your client's website is you know updated with that if not you can always just um, assist them in getting it mobile friendly um, the other thing is also what the support also shows the active social media profile pages or platforms so this particular business only has a Facebook profile so they don't have an Instagram account they don't have a Pinterest or a YouTube account and these are things that you can actually assist the client with you can see these addition like these types of services as value added services in order to give your customer value first before having them sign on with you even this report in itself could be a value added gift that you give to them so before asking for their business you give them basically some information tools and resources on how they can actually go ahead and improve their online presence but if they are not in the position to do so you can obviously help them with that now this will be a facebook pixel this is an indication that this business is not doing facebook ads and that in itself creates an opportunity for you to then assist them and provide like offer them your facebook ads services if that is something that you are familiar with or that your company or service provides right google ads pixel it shows that it is active it shows that they that they are um doing uh, google ads so that is good um but this doesn't mean that you know there's no opportunity for you to offer them that because sometimes customers are not necessarily getting the results that they want and in turn um, if you come with a better solution they could they might opt to go ahead and um, you know go with you instead so it's all about um, looking at how you can provide value and then you know um, finding opportunities within that for yourself and your business the analytics pixel is active because of them doing ads the webmaster tool console is missing so this is something that you can help your clients with it's a valuable instrument for for seo uh, sorry google markup schema this is installed and set up they have a call to action like i said there is a email or telephone number that is available for customers to actually reach out to them and so forth now this is one of the major things especially for clients that is in in the uk or us right 
so a lot of them make use of a platform called help help yeah <laughs> it sounds like I'm saying a help but it's actually he like help like you helling helling um, so um, help basically the platform that provides businesses with free um, exposure so we they can get they can get even more uh, customers to see the business and actually get get more business from this pl particular platform itself. It's similar to Google, um, but people go there because they are looking for particular things and you can actually help them get that set up. And this is something that you can once again charge for or something that you can do free of charge in hopes that you'd obviously, you know, upsell them on their other services by getting them to pay for, for doing something else for them. So. This is something that you can do <coughs> and also the Google Tag Manager is active because they are doing Google Ads and it allows them to track the um, advertising and ROI so the return on investment they can actually see it um, another thing that is of utmost importance and that is the SSL certificate now the SSL certificate it's basically a it's this it's this little lock on top of any website that you see that secures your website so if you are selling a product or service whereby you need customers to either provide um you with the the personal information that might be you know confidential or it might be sensitive information then you can actually um, then customers would feel secure and they would feel confident in sharing that with you but if it is that your SSL certificate is not there and it's missing the your website would actually show that um, would actually warn them that it might be a fraudulent page that they're going to be redirected to or that it's not safe for them to add their details and especially if customers are going to be purchasing things from you online um, where they're going to need to use the credit cards or card information etc because customers these days people are people are spoiled for choice so if a customer feels unsafe about um, or unsure about um, doing business with you simply because of your site not being secure then you can be guaranteed that they'll be that they'll click away and they'll be going on to the next or they'll check for an alternative service or for an alter alternative service provider so this is where you can also you know assist customers in upselling them and providing them with that necessary um, assistance and get the SSL certificate sorted get them um, ready in order for them to uh, to gain the customers conf uh, confidence and credibility so as you can see here it says credibility and trust for your customers a significant benefit of it is the fact that they help you gain visitors trust your vi your website will be displayed with a security padlock in the address bar of the browser that way your customers know it's safe to give the um, give the information to you and that they don't need to worry about it wordpress website so this over here is an indication that the website has been built on wordpress and it is easily uh, it is easy to optimize it is easy to you know rank as well as it, um, it being user friendly because a lot of the, the drag and drop uh, platforms it's not always user friendly there's something that customers needs to do on the they might not be able to do it as easy as they could do it on um, WordPress this over here is active simply because the keywords and SEO has been optimized so that is good but if this was read this is something that you can actually assist them with as well right over here the Google SERP is basically what these businesses or what customers would see when they are searching for the for particular services and they actually stumble on your page they would then basically see the following they would see um, this over here this is how it would be displayed in Google itself and sometimes a lot of businesses don't even know that they need to have this optimized or they need to have this set up correctly otherwise it could just give them a whole bunch of numbers and weird codes and in turn that could confuse a lot of clients as well these are the, some of the other things to show um, so these are the Facebook ID the about us page there's no bio this doesn't show the category no whatsapp number no whatsapp business no post now check it oh this is actually the feature where the page allows for people to post 
lots of people to check in owned unclaimed fan count and etc um, these are important things that your customer needs to be made aware of and if they're not aware you can actually bring it to their attention you can actually highlight it to them and you can actually whatever these customers are lacking you can actually provide them with so this guys in a nutshell this is your Facebook audit report so this is just to you know value added feature or um, service that you can give to customers you can even print it if you'd like print this document and send it to them give it to them physically or you can download the PDF and send it off to them and um, you know gain the trust and also get them to see the value in what you're trying to offer so guys that is it uh, for today don't forget to like and subscribe and follow for uh, more videos like these I will be sharing a lot of other videos that has to do with um, software and platforms business related platforms to help you grow and scale your business um, if it is that you specifically want to get access to the Leeds Gorilla platform you I will be leaving a link in the description for you um, as well and when you're using that link you'll get a discount first and foremost you'll get the full version of it and you'll get additional resources and bonuses on the platform itself but only for clients or for people that actually go ahead and use my link. So guys, that's all for now. Thank you very much for your time and enjoy. Until the next video.